Hello and welcome. It's Chilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another bright and vibrant pour. So it's something that I think that I have to do in stages that I might may, may let one part dry and then come back and embellish, but as I know with all of my good intentions, they sometimes um, don't go to plan. So it's probably best that I um, don't say anything at this period in time and just uh, go with the flow and let, let's see what happens. So, I hope that you guys are all going well and keeping yourself busy uh, in whatever you know gives you joy, whether it be um, art or walking or exercise, or reading. I just hope that you're doing something that gives you joy. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I'm going to probably try and split, 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 split this canvas up. Uh, pouring medium recipe for my paints is in the description box. And what I've just learned for people that often tell me, I don't know where the description box is, is if you just click on the actual title of this YouTube video, push on it, click on it, then the drop down box and all the information appears before your eyes. So there's about four people that have given me that message um, and I always forget to relay that to you because I didn't even know that myself because I'm a computer, not uh, what you call them, computer uh, technologically challenged person. I'm not knowing all these things. But so thank you for the several people that gave me that message that you know you can do that so please try it people and see if it works for you it absolutely worked for me as soon as i tried it and thought oh my goodness all this time so this is just my normal white acrylic paint it is not house paint i know i get asked each time too is that house paint nope 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 it's not so i'm gonna just Bring it down about here. Let's see what I can do with this. Okie doke. I'm going to put on some of the um, Dark Sea, which is one of my favourites. I love this colour. So I'm going to put that along the border and then do dabby it out. might try something first before I go just with the colours at the very edge there. I want to see if I can blow them up before I do too much more or whether this paint will be too thick to do that. So I might just give it a go, hey? Why not? Let me see. Uh, what other nice colour would... Oh, I might put my... So that was pear in there. That is another lovely colour that's... Um, I think it's pretty new to global. This is my Berry Delicious that I make up myself, custom colour. I've explained it so many times. Um, and I'm going to give it a good squirt of white on top. I just want to see if I can... Oh, I had trouble with this, didn't I? I can't... My squirty thing's blocked up so I obviously need to really spend some time and give it a good wash out so I'll just try pouring a bit onto it see if that works for me so let's give this a go I'll try it with my this was the um, heat blower or just it's just a hot air brush blower that I took the brush thing off and added the nozzle that I got from the charity shop for four dollars so there you go you don't need to go buying expensive blow dryers and things try your charity shops give them your money <laughs> all right let's give this a go I might put some try this
absolutely beautiful oh gosh the cells that are coming up i'm not sure if you can see this love 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 the colors so there you go it's going to be a a, dick, a, a dick's pour a dutch pour mix jelly mix or whatever i decide to do with it i will embellish these um edges so they're a little bit softer but that's that these colors are absolutely gorgeous really let me give this just using the um stainless steel brush with a silicone bendy end it looks a bit yucky now just softens the very edges brings up a bit of color too that's under there oh oh my goodness i love this now i don't really want to put too much down here so let me think let me think okay i'm sure some more nice little lacing cells will come up in that but that is gorgeous oh i'm so happy i did that i'm so happy with that charity shop find of um four dollars I did get another one at the same time which was six dollars so there you go what a um, cheap way hey so that was the dark sea again and i'm putting in some fluoro orange oh my goodness i'm excited about this piece excited so i just uh, gotta be so careful not to go overboard because i am obviously a bit guilty of doing that i know so you poor guys it's frustrating out there thinking stop 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 jilly and i just continue on silly jilly but you know it's all if i'm doing this and you're learning anything from it whether it's all well i would have definitely stopped there then that's all good isn't it so this is my very delicious again and maybe i will have to make this my very last color on here i'll show you what i'm going to do with this one maybe oh, i absolutely love that that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so there you go it's just this it's just it was a hot air hair h-a-r h-a-i-r brush it had this attachment and a brush attachment so i just put that tape across to give it a finer area to blow through so it's a little bit more control very happy with that by so i might put some white in here now i have added this is this is what i used for a different thing but i added some black global and only flow troll and flow troll to the black paint to see if i could get the same results as amsterdam because one of the ladies comments on one of my work or oh i can't remember which comment i see so many but she said that she used when i said i used the amsterdam and flow troll she said try your black global and flow troll it works equally as well and i know that i have done this before but for the sake of that i'm going to try it again along here and i'm going to see if i can i'm going to swipe downwards and see if i get the same kind of lacing as i would when i put amsterdam Ooh. probably black was a bit harsh for this gorgeous piece but never mind because I am going to embellish it. Doesn't matter. 
the cells have definitely popped up like unbelievable it is unbelievably look at the cells they're gorgeous just gonna pop that in the sink right here i might just go over this now this is the heat wand now the difference between a what's used for your hair that's obviously a lot cooler than the actual heat wand is i think 350 degrees so very hot and you obviously could not use this on a body it is meant as a completely different purpose so i'm just going over this to burst some air bubbles and bring up some cells Okay, let me move some gear now. I am so pleased with that. That deserves to go on a nice big canvas. I reckon do the same kind of style on a big canvas. It is gorgeous. Okay, so next stage, I am only going to embellish along the bottom with some rolls and twists and turns and things just to have a play. So grab yourself a balloon. They, all of mine have uh, just all gone down. So I've got a balloon, I'm gonna blow it up. Okay, it burst. Scared the bloody poop out of me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll try and cut that bit out. Now I'm all scared blowing it up. Come on, <laughs> behave yourself. Oh, goodness. Those colours are absolutely stunning. I just love them so much. I have to do a whole painting in those. Okie doke. Now, just for art's sake, I've got some, this is photo paper. So I folded it in half. So when I do the balloon kisses, I'm going to put it on these photo papers. So, I mean, I think this is probably a bit too flimsy to give us a card, but I'm going to do it. Maybe I should open them up so I can have the balloon kisses on both sides. A lady sent me, um, I have to get the card and the name of the lovely lady that sent me a card where she does the balloon kisses on card and makes them into gift cards. And it was lovely and lovely idea and thank you so much for sending me that. I will there's I'll just try it on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think this balloon could be doing with deflating a, a wee bit. Okay. It's gonna go down. Put some more on the paper. I'll show you it afterwards. It's too hard to keep lifting it up. But. to be more organized with my card it doesn't need to be such a big balloon as this because it's um, just making a, a blobby mess so now I'm gonna roll it off just creates a different look by rolling going to do it down the bottom wiping my balloon I think 
think I'm going to leave it with that size balloon and transfer over to my smaller balloon because that's a bit big for the small area there but that is absolutely gorgeous I am so pleased with that very 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 pleased so this is just a, an ordinary size balloon that I put under the tap the the belly button bit under the tap and run some water into it to give it a little bit of weight just creates a little bit finer detail on your work so you can just swirl kiss and slide or do whatever you choose to do with it absolutely fine we can try the smaller balloon on the paper I've made a right mess of the paper look because the balloon was too big I believe um, and the card is too flimsy you need obviously a proper card because it being fluid acrylic it's not um, you know you need quite a, a substantial surface underneath to balloon kiss onto this is the part like that I really love when I can leave it walk away but then come back see some more further embellishment I mean and obviously it is a time that you can go overboard you can use your balloon to kiss the very edges of your canvas too that gives a nice finish to it just balloon kissing the edges of your canvas if they're not already looking gorgeous you can kiss them if not you don't have to everything is your decision because remember it's your art room your rules your way lovely okay so who am I gonna give this one to who am I gonna give this one to who 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 well Can I let you into a secret? I love giving my gift, my artwork, so much more than selling it. I know it sounds crazy, but I truly do love giving it as gifts rather than selling. But that's obviously not the um, reason that a lot of people do art, is to make a living out of art and sell their art. But the the and I do sell obviously but the the just the the best part of it is giving and I am so over the moon with this piece you would not believe I absolutely love it love it love it and I hope you do too I will leave it for a, a while I'll let it dry and there will be photos on the bottom oh, it's just gorgeous I've got so many ideas swilling around my brain right now and I really hope you love this too. So thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope that I give you a little bit of uh, joy um, in my silly banter as I usually chat along to myself and I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. So I'm here every day. So don't forget you guys, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate that and it costs absolutely nothing. If you would like to show me your art pieces and join our Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook, there is a link in the drop down box. Like I said, if you just click on the title of this video, a drop down box will come up and all the details of what I supply is there and you'll also find a link to join our Facebook group so please do so or my acrylic art page or my Instagram page it's all there um, there's a link also where I get all my online supplies from Capriol Shabby Chic that's there oh I think I've said everything okay my lovelies I will see you tomorrow take care